It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. We made it. Um, I'm going to share with you a really important recipe that I think you may need my help doing. It's quite tricky. Here we go. First, amazing bit of bread. Second, be careful. This is a really sharp knife. <sighs> Come on, baby. Chop in half. Pause. And that was probably the most strenuous part of the recipe. Next, you're going to pick up your bread. And then you're going to ever so delicately plop both pieces in there and just push really hard. That bit is probably going to be the hardest bit after the chopping. Just make sure that's all the way down. The next part is equally slightly tricky because when making uh, browned bread in the toaster, um, you tend to be quite impatient and you keep on pressing cancel, hoping that it's going to pop back up. But it's not going to be ready and you need to wait for it to be ready. So you kind of just have to wait, really. Or make yourself another box fizz, which is what I'm going to do. So whilst we're going to wait for our uh, browned bread and the toast, uh, some other people call it toast, but um, it's always best to be extra fancy in these scenarios. You're just going to do, I'd say, an inch of orange juice. Is that an inch? And then you're just going to plop that in there. And we're good to go. More waiting, it's great. Check on my toast. The crucial part of this recipe um, that I got taught very early on from my father is that there's no point in having a good piece of toast unless you've got good butter with it too. So today I've just got some uh, lightly salted butter. I like it preferably a bit cold so that when it goes on the toast, it melts, but it's also still a bit cold. Lots of layers in this. So my toast just, correction, my browned bread in the toaster just popped. And I quite, I don't mind that. I mean, because it's sourdough, I think I should probably go with that. So my cold salted butter, I was already feeling fancy and I started slicing it. I'm just going to literally lather it on everywhere i'm a big butter fan if you're not then close your eyes because it's going to get way worse just smother that all over it come here butter i used to actually make it so that it was dripping that's how much butter there would be on it gotta love the butter okay am i gonna use the whole chunk maybe we don't know We'll see how buttery it is. So, because I'm a Brit, I'm obviously going to use some Marmite. Now, people have the wrong idea with Marmite. Marmite, I personally don't think, it's not like a thick Nutella spread. It's a seasoning, essentially. So you're just going to basically do like a spider's web. That's how I was taught when I was younger. All over the piece. So it's not too overwhelming. Obviously, if you like loads of Marmite, then go crazy, kids. But for the newbies, just a slight, slight schmush. The funny thing is, is that I already ate the other piece. Well, I didn't. There's probably one bite left, but um, it doesn't look great to put on uh, my my final, you know, dish look. So this is my my uh, my browned bread in the toaster <clears throat> with just some butter and some marmite, and um, paired with lovely box fizz. Happy Sunday, everyone. Cheers. Go make some toast. And I'll see you tomorrow for a cooking video, an actual one. Bye.